All right, so I'm very excited to do this. I don't even know that it's gonna work or not. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to do this. So uh, I'm starting out my podcast and you will probably get this podcast wherever you take your podcast. And I think this is a great way to uh, talk, which nowadays people are really busy and uh, like, you know, uh, going to YouTube and your phone screen will be open that the problem that I face. And uh, so without talk too much that I want to talk in podcasts, let's go deep dive into it. All right, I'm going to press start recording now, finger crossed. Thank you so much. Hello, this is Pritam. Uh, you probably have never heard of me. So I would start by going, who am I? I am Pritam. I'm from originally from India. Uh, currently, right now, I am in United States and going through life. And this uh, podcast I started because I really wanted to find something that I like, like I wanted some advice that I, uh, I'd like to get in my life, but I really didn't quite uh, figure it out, uh, any channel. Those were uh, the advices that I was looking for to begin with. So why I chose this channel? Actually, I wrote a couple of questions to, uh, to give you guys a little bit more perspective about why I start this and what I will probably do uh, with this. Uh, I don't really know uh, the ending, but this is just a very strong beginning and I hope to continue to, to do this uh, in a, a daily basis, you know. So why I choose this uh, podcast name? To be, uh, to be honest, uh, I saw the movie called Pursuit of Happiness and it's kind of, it's kind of, I think everybody's life is... Uh, same like that everybody wants to be happy in their lifetime in their entire lifetime though they spent here in the planet earth i think uh, they want to be happy but there is a subtle thing that we need to look at is the pursuit of happiness like that makes so much sense to me right now because i think that pursuit of happiness you are pursuing your happiness even though you are having difficulties, you are having a lot of pain, you are going through that process. You're never really happy if you are like happy in one time and then sad another. You're just continuously trying to be happy. So I think that's the that's the goal here. Uh, I don't know. I did like did I make manage to make you understand? But I think you will get there uh, eventually. So yeah, that's why I came up with the name and I think this is a very cool name and I, I would stick with it and uh, I don't know for how long, but for sure. And to give you a little bit of my uh, background, it's, uh, I was a very, very uh, like a, you know, like a small town kid, I would say. And it's in India, in West Bengal. Uh, actually, uh, when I try to tell people that I'm from West Bengal, they sometimes uh, feel uh, like, you know, they sometimes get confused of Bangladesh and West Bengal. So those who are watching right now, I wanted to say that, uh, you know, this, uh, this is a story that goes a long way back. In 1947, when we... Uh, get our independence from the British. Yeah, from the British. Uh, so what they did, they divided us and they made current Bangladesh to East Pakistan and Pakistan, wherever it sits right now, today's date. So there was two Pakistan. One is East Pakistan and Pakistan. So what happened? West Bengal was a single state. It was a single state called Bengal. And then in 1971, 16th of December, India helped uh, uh, East Pakistan, uh, Pakistani people to uh, liberate by themselves. And uh, thus the, the country Bangladesh created. So 
Bengal were together and why we call it West Bengal because West Bengal is you know it's the west side of the Bangladesh so that's why it makes sense but it's actually east part of the India so I don't know did you really get me on this or not but yeah and so yeah I started from a very very humble beginning and uh I I am the only I'm the only child of my parents and my dad uh, still works very hard and my mom uh, raised me as best as she can. So what happened? Uh, I started my schooling. I studied in uh, Don Bosco. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that or not. I studied in Don Bosco High School and uh, after studying uh, there. I was just uh, I was so fascinated about geography and histories. Uh, I find I find history a really fascinating subject uh, subject uh, to be honest and geography too. And uh, you know from those early days I kind of build up my passion to see the outside of the world. And I still firmly believe that the best superpower if God came down to planet Earth and in front of you. Uh, like the oblivion happened to you and he says that what kind of superpower you would want and I would say that I would say I want to know every each and every freaking language to speak and understand in this world doesn't matter uh, am I able to go that place or not I think speaking with the people understanding them it's a very huge leverage that you can get so if you are interested in learning language you should definitely definitely do it and people making lots of money of it so yeah so i i was really fascinating and until up until uh, when i was in high school like in the 11th grade and 10th grade i started to think like you know i'm not necessarily a very very intelligent i would say especially in math so that i said to everybody it's uh, not like common for me being asian Asian and I'm not racial profiling myself, but also most of the Indians they're good at math. I would say that as an Asian, as an Indian, to be honest, and I was not good at math. And then what I started, uh, like I started to look the different kind of approaches. And on that particular time, I came up a fact with that that I can I can do hospitality because everywhere we have hotels and we have people that needs to work there and this kind of came along and i started like uh, i thought i think that i started thinking after uh, after 11th standard i was really serious of that time so i was started looking for college and eventually i found uh, a college which was uh, very expensive and then I find another college which was less expensive and then I finally chose a college which was close to my close to my area and still was one and a half hour commute via train and bus and via bicycle and but still that was the closest that I could get and I enrolled myself over there and after enrolling there I think that is the best decision that I have made because I don't want to have any regrets and so do you what I think it's really important to do it and do the things that you want to do and fail. Rather, you should like you like you thought that you should do it, but you didn't do it. And then you regret that. Oh, what if I did that? And what if I I think that is the most uh, most significantly bad thing can happen to people. And I do not wish that I think you rather fail and I would rather fail. I know it's hard, but I would rather fail on that. So I make a, I make a wild decision to to pursue that, even though my mom was, you know, like being a single child, being just only child and Indian mom. They really don't want to see us being away from, for, from themselves. So it's, it was kind of hard. And yeah, sort of I was really a funny, funny student. I, I would say I would sit around everywhere and I think that that is the most uh, interesting factor with me and uh, there is no humble bragging or there is no bragging at all i just like people i like to talk to people i, li I like to know stuff and i like to know about people i like to uh, make friends because we've got a be a very big life life is uh, really really not short in that aspect that, i mean it doesn't matter but everybody has a different point of view and opinion so yeah 
So I would say I started to mingle around. I would sit in the front bench in the first period. I would be going back in the at the back bench in the middle of the classes and in the middle of the break. And then I would sit there for the entire day. We would play typically, don't tell nobody, all right? We would play uh, mini militia. That was a thing on that time. It was a cool game. We would land, we would connect with the Wi-Fi and stuff. And we play seven, eight, nine people together. That was fun days, guys. That was really fun days. And after that, what happened? By the grace of one friend that... Uh, that really helped me out. I will have to shout out because uh, on that time, his friends was coming to the United States. And I thought that this is really cool. Why not shoot for the star rather than a lot of, a lot of students were trying to go to Dubai, Qatar, Saudi. And I just wanted to uh, see the West, the wild, wild West. And it is wild West when you have a 29 hours of freaking flight and just one stop. I still remember I stopped in Paris, France. And uh, then, uh, yeah, then like after, you know, finally graduating, I was, I started my process six months before I, I would graduate. So I kind of checks that, that kind of checks out. So what happened, I took the step and, you know, what, what can go wrong, that will go wrong. And to my experience, my visa got rejected. And that's the thing. A lot of people in the United States don't even know that their visa can get rejected because this is a uh, this is the first world country. Their passports have ranked, their passport have power, like Germany and Singapore and Japan, South Korea, like that. And I really like that. But, you know, as an India, as opposed to being an Indian, uh, your passport does not carry that much weight with respect to all Indian people and my country, India. So what happened... Uh, I got freaking rejected and they wouldn't say a thing that why you got rejected right in the first place. So, so what happened? Uh, I'm saying I've never done this before and this is also going to YouTube. But yeah, I, even after getting rejected, a lot of money was invested. I've already paid my sponsor, uh, my agents and they were uh, funding the sponsor and a uh, lot of money was on the table. And there was only there was imagine this. If you have two shots and if you lose one and you already lose one, right? You have one and you don't even, you're not even sure that on that second one, you're going to be able to make it happen or happen or not because the bets already placed and that happened with me. I just literally, I couldn't even look at my parents' eyes and they couldn't either because it was so emotional thing and such an in, I was so invested with that fact that I would go there because I was fascinated, right? I would ask people, those who've been here, and uh, I always wanted to speak in English, to be honest. And I, I'm so damn grateful right now because I'm able to speak to you, especially I'm able to speak to you in that manner. And I don't know where are you from, but always, always be grateful. And I, I, I'm really grateful each and every day and I think that I have good days and I have bad days but yeah always always try to find solution on the problem I think that is the key to success and that is the key to a very very peaceful life you if you have a problem you have that solution within you and I've learned that in a hard way but I'm getting off the topic so what happened on the second time I was ferocious I wanted to conquer my dreams and my my up and coming moments that I have to I have to stand up I have to take this shot doesn't matter whatever happens uh, they were also offering half of the money that that I will get if I get rejected for the second time also and finally luckily thanks to god thank heavens I got the visa then I came to United States of America and then the real shit begins. To be honest, I have able to experience just to living by myself, you know, a great deal, a great deal. My mom always used to tell me, try to cook, try to learn something to cook. And uh, I, I really didn't, didn't really paid a lot of attention, I suppose. But uh, I would say that uh, 
I was uh, inspired by my mom uh, that uh, she would always uh, keep the house clean, make the bed properly. She would literally teach me how to fold a shirt, how to fold a t-shirt. And she would always uh, tell me that you will need this, you will need this, you will need that. You will need that in the future. So those of you are not listening to your mom right now, I think you better do it guys or gals. You better do it because I'm 23, right? I would be 24 next next year. So it will help you a great deal if you want to live by yourself, you know. And living by yourself, the best thing can happen. When you are isolating yourself, don't go to victim mode. We should never go to victim mode, I would say. I would say that I miss my friends, I miss my family, but I've never go to victim mode that, oh my God, what's going to happen to me? I'm not going to be able to make friends. You have me, all right? You have me, okay? If you have any question, any problem, you just comment down below and I will answer. I will try to answer and I will do as best as I can. Keeping up with a job, you know, and keeping up the cooking and I have to eat and I have to cook myself, I have to do the laundry, all the stuff. You need to be, you will be very alert about what's coming, right? So that makes a huge difference in my life. And I would say, I would say I'm still growing, right? And I'm still, I'm still um, uh, like started to realizing people and I, everything, the, the mind, mind is changing so rapidly and I can still, I can still feel it. Like I was a kid, I was making some irrational decision, but I'm getting more serious now in that, that extent, but not super serious because I don't know everything and I need you to help me out. That's why I'm putting this content out there. If you have any advice, comment down below and I would be happy to oblige. So yeah, uh, what I'm going through right now. So I started working for JW Marriott and then, you know, you will build your character while you go through in life, right? You will build your character. I started from the bottom at the JW Marriott uh, and then I worked my way up and then I started working from the Hyatt Regency. I worked there for 11 months and then with all of our surprise, right? The pandemic that hits that hard. So what happened after the pandemic? I I was laid off because the American culture, the corporate culture is even though I was not able to get the uh, uh, citizen, uh, citizen benefits because I'm not a citizen here. So I had to find a job and I had to, I had to survive even though I have some money saved up. I just don't want to waste my time sitting here and just doing nothing, uh, I would say. So another thing that that transition, I think had a huge impact on me and it gives me a certain character. And I think I think I will tell you why that was very important and how that helped me at, at the very late uh, later of this uh, this first episode today. So. I chose, I picked up a job at Amazon and guys, believe me, it's not some Indian guy working for Amazon making six figures. It's a basic, basic jobs that the American also doing with us. And it is like stowing and and picking and like you store the uh, items on the shelf and you pick the item from the shelf after getting order and stuff like that. So what happened? I would say, first of all, I didn't have a car on that time. I didn't have nothing. I just had one bicycle. It's in it's in the back right now. So on that time, particularly, I had to wake up at six o'clock in the morning. And here it's freaking cold. It snowed in winter. And that was winter on that time. After I'm talking about after January, February. Okay. So what happened? I actually have to wake up at six o'clock in the morning, had to catch the bus. After catching the bus, I had to catch a shuttle bus. And after catching the shuttle bus, I will be able to reach to the facility center, uh, to the to the warehouse, right? And then that will take almost half an hour. Just, I was back when I was going to college, it, it was the same. So it kind of gave me uh, enthusiasm that I've done that before. It made, it. It gave me a characteristic, my, my character fl flourished, I would say, that hard moment. So what happened after working there, I was still uh, searching for job. And luckily, uh, you know, uh, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And 
it happened through uh, not typically quickly but it happened you know so i able to secure a job at the hospital as a cook because here the hospitals are like five star ratings like oh my god that's a hotel i mean stuff like that it's very well funded government funded and stuff like that they get a lot of donations and stuff so yeah after getting that i would uh, i started working there and i worked for one year just because it was a good exposure for myself and my career i would say and then i started working in a restaurant if you follow me on instagram uh, you should definitely check it out you should go to at p r t m s r k r which is the acronym for my full name i repeat at p r t m s r k r so you would see the restaurant that i'm currently working and i have a good news for you guys i'm leaving i'm leaving from that place because uh, i would I would go to a different place and lucky for me it's a JW Marion also so what I would do uh, I I gave my notice already so this move right that this move uh, from the past that I have struggled after I lost my job and I started working in Amazon I I became I think I became stronger a uh, more uh, I became more stronger internally that uh, I'm not talking about external okay like i'm not talking about like you know having weight training and picking up like a lot of weights i'm i'm stronger internally that made me stronger to this date that i am able to uh, i told myself that i am able to take care of myself as long as i'm making enough money as long as i'm sending money back home as long as i am paying my bills as long as i'm investing as long as i am uh having uh, fun with my money and as long as i'm saving so all these things right you would discover people you would discover for sure and this is going great i think uh, i'm able to i able to uh, talk about like you know all the stuff that i wanted to say and i think i think this is going to be great and some of this uh, question that i wrote down here my inspiration uh, my goals in life and my heroes in life uh, is to begin with my inspiration uh, as because i'm a cook uh, i work I, and i wants to be chef uh, some day as my goal to be honest uh, my inspiration if you know anthony bourdain i have read one of his book called kitchen confidential and it just changed my life it's just it, it's so good i mean that guy was not a celebrity chef he was just a storyteller i mean okay he he's not a celebrity uh, chef or something like he he doesn't have a michelin star restaurant he's passed away by the way rest in peace and yeah he's my inspiration in life to uh, to make something out of scratch out of nothing you know that is my goal in life and to speak about my heroes uh, i would say there is uh, uh, there is tremendously a uh, lot of people that uh, have influenced me over the course of my entire uh, day until today but i would say my mom and dad i think uh, two essential things that they taught me my mom uh, ha- taught me to how to talk to people and how to respect people and do the best you can always keep in touch with people even though it's hard even though they are not right with you they're not you know they're not fair with you but life's not fair you got to you got to keep keep pushing keep pushing yourself and just be be humble be generous be respectful to your uh, to your elder elderly so yeah that is one uh, stuff to deal with the people and from that i got the the desire of being out there and being able to see places being able to go places and that's what i'm doing right now i i'm transitioning from one place to another and i think it would be great and so that's the character that i'm about to build right now please let me know 
what kind of podcast you would like to listen to. I would mostly make career and self-improvement because that's kind of the niche that I am looking for. I want to improve myself because I want to make my risks lower. There will be always risk. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong and don't think wishful thinking that, oh, there will be always rainbows and sunshines and stuff like that. But I think there will be always be risk. I'm just doing this just so uh, to interact with people and, you know, to get to know people and and just be out there and just talk with people. I love, I love that. I love that kind of creation in the first place. Okay, so my screen is showing me right now is 24 uh, minutes and 43, 45, uh, 44, 45, 46 seconds already. And it says that you can record up to 30 minutes in your web browser. If you'd like to record for longer, you have to use the app on your computer and then upload the file. So, yeah, 30, 30 minutes is okay. I mean, I, I speak a great deal. And I think you will like this video. I mean, you will like this podcast because this is also going in YouTube uh, also. But yeah, I think you'll like this one big time. And thank you so very much, guys, for helping me out. And I'll try to continue as much as I can. And thank you. I'll update you guys. I'll keep you updated.